we want to spend the time today talking about uh, your view of the future and what people should work on. So to start off, could you tell us, you famously said when you were younger, there were five problems that you thought were most important for you to work on. Mm -hmm. um, if you were 22 today, what would the five problems that you would think about working on be? Um, well, first of all, I think um, if somebody is doing something that is useful to the rest of society, I think that's a good thing. Like, it doesn't have to change the world. Like, you know, um, if you're doing something that has high value to, to people, um, and, and frankly, even if it's something, if it's like um, just a little game. Um, Mars is our closest habitable planet and taking a manned mission there is seen by experts as our next achievable goal in space exploration. The best one companies to build to Mars, which is the B1M. Their aim is we love construction and we want the whole world to love it even as Mars. A human presence on Mars would enable us to learn more about the universe, gain a better understanding of our own planet, and search for extraterrestrial life. A cosmic task. Building a settlement like this, in a place where no human has been before, is a serious challenge. As each kilogram of equipment is expected to be hugely expensive to transport to Mars, NASA's preferred strategy is for structures to be 3D printed using material from the local environment. With the surface Mars exposed to much higher levels of radiation than on Earth, Hassel came up with the idea of creating a cave-like structure to protect the astronauts. These machines would be sent to Mars to construct the shell structure in advance of the astronauts arriving. When humans arrive, they would assemble the internal elements, lightweight living pods inflated within the shell that create spaces for sleep, exercise, research, vertical farming, food preparation, and socializing. The circular arrangement of the pods enables the base to continue to function should one area become damaged or compromised. SpaceX to Mars City, how to build on Mars. In recent years, however, serious consideration has been given to Earthlings traveling to Mars, rather than the other way around. Many consider that the first manned space flight to another planet is only a matter of time. Beyond that lies the tantalizing prospect of actually building and colonizing Mars. Elon Musk's SpaceX is working towards that goal, and it seems likely that other private companies will be just as heavily involved as countries are in the race to colonize our neighboring planet. While SpaceX is mostly known for the space travel and transportation aspect, however, we'll also need to build structures once we arrive in order for any colonization plans to succeed. Here are six projects solving the problem of building on Mars. The Swiss Martian Garden. Low-tech tools and high-tech solutions. Martian bricks. The Mars Ice House. Foster Plus Partners Mars Habitat The UAE's Mars City To be fair, there is no shortage of ideas for how human beings might establish a colony on the Red Planet. They are also quite detailed, ranging from different kinds of structures that could be built, how they would be built, what they would be built from, and how they would be protected from the elements. Then again, they would have to be in order to address the many challenges that living on Mars would present. These include our Extreme distance from Earth. Unbreathable atmosphere. Extreme temperatures. Increased exposure to radiation. Planet-wide dust storms. Taking all of this into account, it becomes clear that any efforts to build a civilization on Mars will have to take into account a lot of specific needs. And meeting these will necessitate that colonists rely pretty heavily on some pretty advanced technology. Our vertical Martian future. Martian housing. The challenges posed by long distance and natural hazards on Mars have led to some creative suggestions of how to build habitats that will shield against the environment and can be built in the situation. Population. One of the more difficult questions to answer about Martian settlement has to do with the number of people involved. In short, what is the maximum number of people that could be sustained in a single colony? And if these people were effectively cut off from Earth, how many would there need to be to keep a self-sustaining population going? Transportation. The issue of transportation is another big one and applies to both getting to Mars, spacecraft, and getting around once you are there, infrastructure. In the case of the former, there are a few neat ideas that have been floated, plus some really interesting concepts that are being developed. Radiation shielding. Of course, any habitat or settlement on Mars has to take into account the very real threat posed by radiation. Due to its thin atmosphere and lack of a protective magnetosphere, the surface of Mars is exposed to considerably more radiation than Earth is. Over long periods, this increased exposure could result in health risks among settlers. Dust storms. 
Dust storms are a relatively common occurrence on Mars and take place when the southern hemisphere experiences summer, which coincides with the planet being closer to the sun in its elliptical orbit. Since the southern polar region is pointed towards the sun during the Martian summer, carbon dioxide frozen in the polar cap evaporates. Food production. Another big issue of living on Mars is the challenge of producing enough food to sustain a colony of humans. Given the distance between Earth and Mars and the fact that supply missions would only be able to arrive once about every two years, there is a strong need for self-sufficiency when it comes to things like water, fuel, and crops. Conclusion From these many proposals and ideas, a picture of Martian settlement begins to appear. This is in keeping with our growing interest in Mars and evolving plans to explore the planet. And while the challenges may be great, the proposed solutions are both innovative and potentially effective. Whether or not we should colonize Mars, the fact remains that we can, given the right commitment and enough resources. And if and when we do, we already have a pretty good idea of what Martian colonies might look like.